So is it time to upgrade that computer? Because your computer is not running as fast as you'd like it now that you're doing more video editing and graphics? Well, just maybe you could speed up that unupgradable computer with an eGPU. Yes. What? like only yesterday when I bought this souped up expensive laptop. Ooh, this is the MacBook Pro 13 inch souped up 2016 touch bar MacBook Pro. I know a lot of you guys are going, ooh. Up until a few months ago, this thing was doing everything I needed it to do. But then I got into more heavy graphics editing and uh, this thing just wasn't able to take it. All right, so here's what happened. I was really frustrated because I really wanted to use the software. So I wrote to the company and I asked them, do I need to get a new computer? And they go, you don't need a new computer, just get an eGPU. And that was my, my face, eGPU. So I Google eGPU, I find out what it is. So it's basically a separate box with a separate graphics card that will take on the graphics workload. So I thought, this is pretty cool. The first place I looked was Apple and uh, they have the Blackmagic eGPU. I was about to purchase it, but then I read a review that you can't upgrade it. So it's like, what's the point of buying another unupgradable thing? So after all my research, I found this to be the best option. It's a Razer Core X Chroma aluminum external GPU exclosure, compatible with Windows and Mac, Thunderbolt 3 laptops. Then I got a Gigabyte Radeon computer graphics card, RX Vega 64 GPU version. So I did what any normal person would do. I consulted a friend that was more tech nerdy than I am. And he looked at the specs and told me that that would be really good moving forward. So I bought it, came in the mail, super excited, unboxed it, put it together myself. There was a point where it got a little bit confusing, but it was pretty easy. It comes with like a 12 inch Thunderbolt 3 cable. So to get a longer cable, it's not just USB-C, it's Thunderbolt 3, it's, it's pretty expensive. So once it's all put together, you can actually run up to three HDMI monitors. But uh, the idea of the eGPU was a really good one and I'm happy I have it. And moving forward, it's something that I can use for future computers as well. Update the graphics card. Let's just run some tests and see the difference exporting video and rendering clips. All right, so in a very weird turn of events, as I was making this video, I didn't even have the eGPU settings turned on for Final Cut Pro, which is my main editing platform. What? I, I w did a test between uh, just the Mac and the eGPU, and they both were the same. And I was like, this is weird. I thought this was supposed to make it faster. So what you're supposed to do is go find the app and right click it and click get info. And from there you'll see there's a little checkbox that says prefer external GPU. So now I'm gonna run a test with the eGPU fully on, a four minute video 4K, and it's got some color grading on it and some other effects. And there you go, it took roughly four minutes and 20 seconds to export. So now I wanna try it without the eGPU and just the laptop. And it's the same video, same length, same effects, and it took almost twice as long, which is a significant upgrade. I cannot believe that, that I haven't, I haven't been utilizing the eGPU for this long. That's really why I make these videos, so I actually can test them out myself and uh, figure out the problems. Wow, I should have made this video a long time ago. Wow. Okay, back to the, back to the. So there you go, new laptops are coming out every year and you might not need to get it. This is just a cheaper option that might hold you off uh, and save you some money and you know, that's why I'm making this video. Because I had no idea what eGPU was before and now I know and I'm trying to pass on that knowledge to you. You probably know what it is. I'm making Tech Tuesday videos and I don't know that much about tech. All right, so before we go, we're gonna do a creator shout out. Shout out! This week's creator shout out is Josh Walker Vlogs. I think Josh was actually subscribed to me and he commented on a couple videos and I came over and checked him out. I've been watching his videos pop up in my subscription feed and uh, I just started watching them and they're funny. Your Snapchat, something you wanna tell me about that? <laughs> I'm tired of being made fun of, so I'm gonna go ride the Wago 3, ride the only one board with Justin Bravo, newest board on the market and hilarious and I'm like this guy he's got potential so if you feel like it go over to his channel and uh, give him some love and tell him that I sent you and 
if you want to be part of the creator shout out, make sure you write a comment down below. So that's the end of Tech Tuesday video. I'm heading off to Vegas. So I'm going to make some videos in Vegas, but not too many because, you know, what happens in Vegas, it's probably going to end up on YouTube anyways. But see you guys later. Let's <laughs> go.